begin here a quick video on how your body stores fat right the two main pathways your body uses to store fat hopefully that's gonna answer a lot of questions that i get in my inbox 24 7 and once again the goal of these videos is to simplify things to remove the excess details and just give you guys the big picture on how things really work if you don't understand the processes of how your body builds builds muscle or stores fat it's gonna be very easy to get confused by all the information that's out there on the internet all right so let's simplify this real fast remember to lose fat you need to one increase fat breakdown and two reduce fat storage just like when you're building muscle you need to one increase protein synthesis and two reduce protein breakdown most people when they're trying to lose weight they either increase fat breakdown but then they forget to lower fat storage and they wonder what the hell is going on how come i'm not losing weight or they lower fat storage but it don't increase the, the fat breakdown so you got to do both right so I already made a video on how to increase fat breakdown and how fat leaves your body and all that stuff. Check it out. It's going to be in the description. But this video is primarily on how your body stores fat. Understand how your body stores fat. Two primary pathways. I'm keeping it simple, of course. So I'm eliminating all the extra shit, right? So the green pathways and then the red pathways. Now, before we begin, quick, quick recap. Uh, this is the food that you eat on the left side here. It says food. This is your liver. And this is your fat cell. And if you know your body, your belly fat, all the fat that you're trying to you know, lose, it's really fatty acids combined with glycerol. That's all it is. Your body takes glycerol backbone, combines it with free fatty acids, right? Puts it together, and it's called triglycerides, right? That's where you see triglycerides, triglycerides. It simply means a glycerol backbone and free fatty acid molecules stuck together. And those are stored in your fat cells. So when you're trying to lose fat, Obviously, you're not losing the fat cell. You're just trying to break apart those two things. You want to separate the glycerol from the free fatty acids. When you're storing fat, you're doing the reverse. You're combining the fat with the glycerol, and then that becomes that nasty belly fat that you're carrying around. Okay? Now, how does your body store fat? Let's look at pathway one, right? Glucose. Your body takes glucose, right? If it's excess glucose, it's going to go ahead, and it's going to provide the glycerol to complete half of the equation. Or... That glucose is going to come from your liver, right? Obviously, if you eat, your glucose is going to go in here, or your body's going to break down protein, convert it to glucose, blah, blah, blah. And then your liver is going to provide the glucose that's going to go ahead, enter the fat cell, and provide the glass or backbone, okay? Good. Another thing that your glucose is going to do is it's going to go ahead, if it's, once again, excess glucose, it's going to go to your liver. Your liver is going to convert it into free fatty acids, and then it's going to join the second pathway that we're going to get to now. Okay, so this is what glucose does when it comes to fat storage. Also, glucose spikes insulin, which activates this enzyme here, and we'll discuss them in a moment. Protein also spikes insulin, but right now, let's just keep it simple. Notice I didn't put protein here, which I'm going to explain why in separate videos. Um, all right, so this is the pathway number one, the glucose pathway. The second pathway is through fat. Okay, the fat that you eat is going to go, right? It's going to go to your intestines, it's going to get broken up, packaged into chylomicrons, all that fancy shit. And it, you see this thing in yellow here? Glycerol plus free fatty acids. Your body's going to take that. It's going to go through this enzyme. This enzyme here, lipoprotein lipase, is going to separate the glycerol from the free fatty acids. And then the free fatty acids are going to enter the fat cell and become attached to this glycerol here. Cool? All right, I hope I didn't confuse you. Once again, your fat is going to, you're going to eat the fat, right? See this piece of cheese here? It's going to go. It's going to come through this enzyme, this enzyme. Remember, for some reason, your body doesn't want to just take the triglyceride and store it into the fat cell. It just wants this free fatty acid portion. So this enzyme is going to split those in two, take the free fatty acids, put them in here. And we already mentioned how this, where this glycerol backbone is going to come from, from the glucose, mainly. It comes from other sources, but mainly glucose. Okay, so that's the second pathway. Notice how short it is. All right. Also, the free fatty acids can also come from your liver, like I talked about earlier. If you eat too many carbs, the carbs can get converted into fat, and then they could come in here, become this thing here, blah, 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 lipoprotein. Long story short, they all end up here. So as you can see, fat really ends up from either from having both a glycerol and free fatty acids. Now, it's up to you to decide which pathway. That's why a lot of diets work, guys, because different diets affect different pathways if you want to eat a low carb diet fine you're going to break down you know you're going to you're going to hinder the green pathway that i have in green which is this glucose thing here right you're going to lower the amount of glucose that goes in and becomes glycerol you're going to lower the amount of glucose that gets converted into fat nice or if you're eating 
if, if, if you're doing if you're fish or macros or something else that allows you to eat a lot of carbs but lowers your fat intake, you, you're simply going to increase this green pathway, but you're going to lower this red pathway here. There are many ways to store fat, you know, like I said, two pathways. So don't get confused about, oh, what's the, you know, what should I do in terms of, is this diet better? Is this diet better? No, it's simply a matter of which pathway you increasing or decreasing, inhibiting or boosting. All right. So I hope that simplifies things. All right. And also remember, this uh, enzyme here, lipoprotein lipase, right, is upregulated by insulin. So that also explains why when you cut your carbs, you notice uh, it's a lot easier to lose fat when you cut your carbs than, you know, simply cutting something else. Because, I mean, look at all the pathways glucose has. Look how long the green arrows are. All right, look how many green arrows we have here. And look how short the red arrows are. Right? That is why you could eat a lot of fat with small amount of carbs, even if you're going above your calories, and still lose weight. Tons of studies have shown that. Whereas you have, there's a lot of studies that show people that reduce their calories but eat way too many carbs and have a hard time losing weight because of these arrows here. Carbs has a lot of different ways of fucking you up, right? Again, I didn't mention protein because that's going to come later on, right? Protein is actually... Yes, it could be converted into glucose, but it actually helps when it comes to fat loss. So, hope this answers your question. This is how fat leaves. Uh, this is how fat is stored within the body. Watch this video a second time if you need to, and create the big picture. Okay. Remember, conclusion: to lose fat, you need to reduce fat storage. You need to increase fat breakdown. And this video is on the fat storage aspect. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Like the video if it helped. Comment below. For the next FAQs, I read the comments and I use that to make the videos. Don't forget to share, subscribe, all that good shit, and most importantly, dominate. Little segments. So go in the comment section and just vote. Vote on what you think is your most requested uh, topic. And then obviously the one that has the most likes or the one that's going to prioritize. Uh, in case let's